Hello and welcome to Stick Shards of Darkness, the new stealth infiltration game from Cyanide Studio coming to PS4. Join me for a moment to learn about the new mechanics, lore and gameplay to be explored in Styx's new adventure. Stolen by a dark elf shapeshifter, the Ambassador's Scepter, powered by a mysterious quartz, is Styx's target in Karangar, a port village hosting a diplomatic summit. Addicted to Amber and intrigued by the magical properties of Quartz, Styx must infiltrate the port and gain access for Heladrin, his latest shadowy client, and her airship. Using verticality and shadows to your advantage, sneak your way through the large, open spaces patrolled by elves, humans, dwarves, and other nuisances. Today, we'll be avoiding and killing the humans and elves, but it depends on your playstyle. Keeping tabs on the amount of noise you're making is an important factor in your success. Land on carpets to soften your fall and use ropes to avoid a clumsy drop. Clever use of the environment will keep sticks hidden, while other clever uses of the environment will keep the enemy hidden. Remember, a dead guard is a quiet guard. Thinning out the patrols is one way to play sticks, Shards of Darkness, and there are multiple ways to do this. Throwing up in the refreshments is one of them. And after some time, they're bound to take a drink. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Leaving their bodies behind is a great way to get busted. Scattered throughout the level are many crafting components, a new feature in Styx Shards of Darkness. Collecting these essential ingredients will allow you to craft many useful items, which are integral to some of the abilities you'll see today. Crafting a bolt would allow for a ranged attack, useful in a bind. And the egg, well, you'll see how that's used in a moment. But first, let's make sure that if we are spotted, we won't have every elf between here and the Tower of Akanash on our tail. A useful tip for some of the inevitable missteps. I was bad. Come and take my dingling away. That noise. May Lissro protect us. In the shadows, your knife will light up, letting you know that you're difficult to be seen. On the bottom right of your screen, you'll see an orange bar. This is your amber, used to power Styx's magical abilities. Getting from A to B in this corridor is difficult with the amount of enemies patrolling, so clever use of the amber will illuminate useful and dangerous objects in your path, allowing you to make better decisions on how to move. Invisibility provides an expensive but effective cloak, but they can still hear you. Those dumbasses left a window open. How nice of them. Inside, things aren't quite so bright, working at an advantage for our little green friend. Clever use of sand to take out the lights will provide an element of visual cover, but the best way is usually to climb high. With the egg, we're able to create a cocoon, allowing Styx to throw a clone of himself large distances and embody that clone. Glory to Glory. Using the bolt and a chemical potion, we can take out both of the guards pretty easily, dissolving one body and carrying the remaining body to a place to hide. But before Heladrin can attend the summit, the register must be adjusted with a name to avoid rousing suspicion. For this, we can use the light to distract the guards. Yes. 
And now it's written down in black and white. Is his past valid? Yes, but we'll keep him here a little while longer. This will teach him to control himself. I need to get that pass. Okay, let's head for the docks. Again, using the environment, a little patience and observance opens opportunities to take out guards. But with the register changed, it's time to open the gates. There are many paths to take throughout each of the levels, some more dangerous than others, and many of them hidden. Sometimes the best way to avoid a fight is to stick to the shadows and stick to the walls. Using the blimp, we can alert the guards to open the door and Heladrin can attend the summit. But we've alerted a suspicious guard, so we've got to hide. Curiosity killed the elf, and we don't even need to make an effort to hide him. One last check to make sure she's on her way, and we've completed about half of the mission that takes place in the mountainous port of Karanga. To find out what happens next, stay tuned to our next gameplay videos to find out about all of the races, features, and new mechanics to be discovered in Styx Shards of Darkness. Coming soon to PS4.